What's up guys, it's Cam coming at you from the 2-6. Welcome back to CFR. Well, here in North Carolina and the Southern United States, the heat and humidity is officially fully on deck. It seemed like it was, you know, like peeking in and peeking out. Now it's to the point to where we're not gonna see anything but hot and humid weather. The type of hot and humid weather even with the air conditioner crank, when you get out of the shower, you're gonna start sweating before you can even dry the water off from the shower. The fragrance that I'm talking about today was actually designed to withhold that high heat and humidity, and it is a citrus tropical fragrance. Stay tuned to see what I'm talking about. So as some of you well know, there are different types of heat. There are the humid heat, and then there's the dry heat. Like out west here in the United States, you know, like in places like New Mexico, Nevada, different places like that, they have more of a dry heat. Where on the east coast, we have high humidity. Same thing goes for different parts of the world, and especially Australia shares a very similar climate than North Carolina does, except it even gets hotter there and even more humidity. So it would only be fitting that a brand from Australia would design a fragrance to withstand that high heat and humidity. A tropical fragrance at that. I'm talking about the new release from Goldfield & Banks, Bohemian Lime. Now before I get into the fragrance, I was actually given a sample of this fragrance from a subscriber. So thank you for the sample. It actually led to me getting a bottle and light it enough to really think it's gonna be one of the best releases of 2020, probably the best 2020 release so far, especially for this high heat. Onto the presentation, this is actually the first Goldfield and Banks fragrance that I have a full presentation of, so I'm gonna go ahead and share the presentation with you. It comes in a really cool lime green box where you've got Bohemian Lime here, you've got Bohemian Lime here, and the Goldfield and Banks insignia here. On the sides you have nothing. On the bottom you've got your batch code. On the back you've got your Goldfield and Banks, and of course you've got your Bohemian Lime. It also has a little story about the fragrance which in short just says like sitting under a sunlit canopy where you're getting wafts from these citrus trees that are pulling their life from nearby waterfalls. So yeah, that's a very tropical sounding story. Then of course you have the actual notes right here. You have it in Arabic here and then you have actually some of the ingredients down here. That's pretty much it for the box, but I do happen to like lime green. So I think this is a cool looking box. You know, some of you might want to yeet it. That's okay. I like it. It'll be sitting behind the bottle, which looks like this, which is your standard Goldfield and Banks 100 ml bottle. These are very nice, heavy bottles. You can pick them up by the lid. On the uh, top, you've got your Goldfield and Banks insignia, actually kind of inside the uh, wood there. The sticker on the front wraps from front to side and all the presentations look like this, but it is a very sturdy bottle, sturdy cap, and as far as your atomizer goes, it's got a really nice atomizer. A real nice and pretty gold one, as a matter of fact, with very nice distribution. I don't mind wasting those sprays because it actually went on my skin. Now the scent, the scent of this is to die for. The first time that I actually smelled this, it reminded me, uh, I don't know why my, you know, I've, I've said before, my brain goes to different places. It reminds me of a vacation that I took as a teenager. Now I wasn't like in a place like Jamaica or Cancun or any of those places I've been. For whatever reason, I don't know how my mind took me to a ferry trip that I took down at Curie Beach and Carolina Beach, you know, around Fort Fisher. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that area or not, but I was around those areas coming in on the ferry ride, stopping at the Curie Beach Pier, eating ice cream, and coming back and staying at a really nice place, or it used to be like a really nice place, it's called Atlantic Towers. Now, that area down there has really developed a lot from a lot of people building really nice condos and beach houses there. For whatever reason, it just drew it straight to this fragrance. Now, this is a really clean, tropical, citrusy, tart fragrance. It almost has like a punchy tart to it, which is really, Really, really nice and that lime note in here actually comes from a lime that is indigenous to Australia it's called the Australian finger lime and that lime is what they consider like the caviar of lime and when you think caviar you think 
cream of the crop. That is definitely what I get from this lime. You know, it's not like a weak lime that you might be lucky if you squeeze juice out of to try to put it on some tacos de carne asada. I've had that problem. You're sitting there like trying to squeeze and you can't get any juice. This must be like a really juicy and luscious lime. Now outside of the lime, it's gonna come off very green. And as I said, it will be kind of like a punchy tart and very citrusy because you've got bergamot mixed with that lime and you also have some coriander mixed in there. So it's gonna be like a tropical citrusy tart punchy woody fragrance with a little bit of spiciness. So outside of those top notes, which I said are the Australian finger lime, the bergamot, and the coriander, you're also gonna get Haitian vetiver, patchouli, cedar, and sandalwood. So you're gonna get a little bit of spice from the patchouli, almost a little bit of sweetness from the patchouli as well, and you're also gonna get a little bit of creaminess from that sandalwood. And then to polish it off in the base notes, you're gonna get a really nice sweet amber. So actually when I saw this fragrance, I was wondering, you know, how are they gonna pull off something unique with lime? I own other lime fragrances that are really nice, but they don't project, they don't perform. But this fragrance actually has 20% oil in it, and it is actually developed and tested under high heat and humidity. Now there's something very alluring about this. It's almost intoxicating. You can't get enough. It leaves an amazing scent trail, and as a story said on the back of the box, you know, because I didn't read the whole thing to you, but if you could just kind of picture yourself in a hammock under these swaying citrus trees by a waterfall, just think lush green, you know, rainforest type environment around you that is just, you know, complete and total chillax. That's what this fragrance is. I've got a few compliments from this fragrance. It's just like you smell clean, you smell bright or something like that. I haven't worn it out enough. Actually, North Carolina has gone back to like locking everything down, putting everybody, you know, backward face mask on and everything. So even with all the restrictions that we have, I have pulled a couple of compliments. I've been able to be around people where we're not having to, you know, wear a mask and it smells fantastic, it really does. It smells really good in the air. It's really bright, crisp, cheery, and I think it's definitely going to be a summer staple. Like I said, so far, my favorite release of 2020. So of course, with a fresh, mellow, citrusy, tropical, woody fragrance, it's gonna be geared for this time of the year. And I would just say 100% like hot summertime fragrance. You know, we normally can gauge these and say, yeah, spring, summer. Yeah, of course, you could wear this any time of the year but this one is especially designed to shine in the high heat and humidity nine and a half plus hours on performance you're gonna get a two hour scent bubble easily it is a very very potent fragrance that doesn't smell overwhelming I didn't realize how well it was performing until I apparently came up with some olfactory fatigue when I took a shower as I was you know washing the day off I actually smelled this coming off of me and it smelled like I had just sprayed it on. So yeah, you're gonna get some really good longevity, really good projection, and this is an amazing fragrance. So of course, what time of year? Summertime. What type of situation? Anytime in the summer, but to me this comes off very casual, but I would also wear it, you know, in a situation where, you know, just in case if you had to go to a business meeting, even a date, because there is something slightly alluring about this. You know, I think, you know, with the patchouli and the sandalwood, those woody notes, it's going to come off where it's very warm and inviting. And yeah, it would be perfect for date night or any type of situation like that. Now this fragrance is is available at Perfumology. You can go to www.perfumology.com. They had this price at 100 ml for $185. Now up until Perfumology picked these up, these were a little bit harder to find here in the United States. I know that, you know, in Europe and Australia, they've been a little bit more accessible, but having them here in the US actually makes me want to explore this house even more. If I was to rate this fragrance, it's going to easily be a 10 out of 10 summer fragrance. So down in the comments, let me know what your favorite summer fragrance is or your favorite release from 2020. Or have you tried Bohemian Lime? Do you plan on trying it? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, I'll see you on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.